What's up, everybody? Uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but I just hit another milestone. I got 150,000 on Twitter, so yeah, I guess I'll tell another story or whatever. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all about the time I almost died in a car crash. Uh, this is probably the closest I've ever come to a real car crash. So, I mean, so far. All right, so I was riding with my girl, and uh, she was driving. So, right there already, you can kind of see where the mistakes were made. By the way, this is the same girl that got me lost on the mountain. So, y'all should kind of know how this one gonna play out. So she gotta go into this 7-Eleven. It's on the left-hand side. Just to give y'all an idea, we on the right lane, and there's two lanes of oncoming traffic. So we gotta go across both of them. So she's sitting there waiting for an opening to turn with her blinker on, and the dude in the middle lane kind of stopped to let her go through. But now we couldn't see the other lane, so we couldn't see if it was clear. I don't know if she just didn't care about the other lane or she was trying to kill me or she was just feeling spontaneous again, but she was just like, fuck it, God got me. Skirt! Right as we're crossing the other lane, bitch, you guessed it, a big ass truck is coming right at my fucking face. My whole life flashed before my eyes. I'm just looking out my window and I wish I could describe the fear that I felt. Like, the Ford emblem is just getting bigger. Like, an F-150 about to fuck my shit up. The dude slams on his brakes, and the only thing louder than the brakes screeching was me screeching. Like, I was just like, yeah! All right, so the truck didn't hit us. He stopped on time. Shout out Ford brake system. But uh, the story's just getting interesting, folks. So we're sitting in the parking lot now, and I'm sitting there trying to recoup from this near-death experience that I almost had. And I see the truck is just coming in aggressively. When I say aggressively... Like, he was coming in hot. He was coming around the corner. I don't know about all that. But when he stopped, it definitely... Now my girl kind of freaking out. She was like, oh my God, he's mad. He's going to kill us. I was like, bet. I'm not no bitch. You stay in the car. I'm the man. I'll handle it. So I walk over to him real smooth. I was like, hey man, we didn't even see you. Before I could even finish, he was like, fuck you. I'm a cop. I should arrest you for negligent driving. Now my adrenaline was still gone from what just happened, so I started to flip out a little bit. I was like, bitch, I don't know who the fuck you think you talking to. I wasn't even driving. I'm traumatized. But escalate now, we both starting to argue, and my girl gets out of the car, just like I told her not to do, and all of a sudden, he's a fucking saint. He's being all nice to her. Now they over there chit-chatting and shit. I'm just over here confused. He like, yeah, you should really control your boyfriend. I should arrest him for disorderly conduct. Now I'm like, arrest who? Bitch, I should arrest the both of y'all for attempted manslaughter. I'm the fucking victim here. My girl like, oh, I'm sorry about him. And then we start walking to the car. I'm sorry about him. What? Now what the fuck you mean, I'm sorry about him? Y'all almost killed me. I almost died here. Y'all should be apologizing to me. I mean, that's about it, really. I'm just confused how I became the bad guy in the whole situation. But it still affects me to this day. It was a real traumatic experience for me and shit. By the way, that girl got a new guy now, so just a warning to him. Don't let her drive, yo. It's not worth it, bro.